Kids in school can turn teachers into Karens because of how naughty they can get. Watch what happens when things get out of control when Karens are in charge. In the first video, everyone walks out on their school principal because she's being racist. Apparently, Karen was only defending another kid until she decided to be mean, make it all about race. I'm thinking y'all owe this young man an apology, especially that goober that was coming through with his little thing. That was so rude. Where are you, you little coward? Come on back up here, let's talk. Look at everybody walking out. Principal Karen first blames it on her frustration, and then she blames the devil for her actions. And, you know, when I said it, I told my husband it felt like the devil was in the house because it didn't even sound like me. Some people should really just keep quiet. This father was trying to vent out his frustrations about his son experiencing racist things in their school when all of a sudden another father chimes in to share his opinion. When I went to his bedroom to say goodnight and he was crying because of the abuse that he was enduring in this school system. Then why did you stay in Mexico? Crazy things really happen in school. This other teacher woke up and chose violence. He and a student were arguing until he brought up her father. What Kevin says next is so out of line, it'll shock you good. Stop talking to me, Guyana. Call your daddy then. Tell your daddy to come up here and talk to me then. You, stop talking to me. No, I'm telling you, stop talking to me. Tell your daddy to come talk to me. Tell your daddy to come talk to me. Nah, go dig him up and tell him to come talk to me. In the next video, a Karen, who's only a substitute teacher, makes fun of a kid for wearing a necklace with a cross in class. She was intentionally mocking his religion, and it didn't sit well with the entire class. But I am sure disgusted with the fact that you just have no respect for anybody, including yourself. And wearing this doesn't make you wonderful. That's if you, if, uh, well, let's not go there, but you know what? It says be obedient, doesn't it? And you are not being obedient. Wait, you say trust is You are not being obedient. That's all I'm saying. That's a little crossing. You are not being obedient by not listening to the teacher. I don't care who it is up here. Hey, ma'am, that's kind of disrespectful to touch his cross like that. No, you can't. Yeah, tell me that I'm not being a good Christian. I didn't say that. I said you are not being obedient. And that's not okay. It's never okay to tell someone that they're being a good Christian. I didn't say that. Only God can say you're not being obedient. The next video gets pretty weird. Another teacher crosses the line by breaking a kid's phone. Kevin snapped the phone in two just because the kid brought out his phone in class. They dispatched an expedition, uh, or the Continental Congress Army dispatched an expedition to force Quebec into the Revolutionary Union. I have a strict policy about texting. So, let's turn to uh, John Locke. What's with teachers and culture? It's like they never learned about it, so how come they call themselves teachers? In the next video, Karen was called out online because of a viral video. In that video, you'll see her making fun of a do-rag that a kid brought to class. She was even so proud that she confiscated it. Things that my kids bring to school that I get to confiscate. Looks like pantyhose. Karen asks for forgiveness because of her lack of education, but isn't she an educator? What's more ironic than that? Good morning, TikTok and Aunt Karen. I owe every single person who saw my video yesterday an apology for my cultural insensitivity. I would like to start by saying I am not justifying any actions that I did. However, I would please ask for some forgiveness due to the context of the situation and my lack of education.
The black item that I found out was a do-rag on TikTok was taken away from a white student who had it wrapped around his neck in my class. I did not find this to be very appropriate, so I took it from him and thought it was just another silly item that my students were bringing to class. The reality of the situation is I posted that on TikTok thinking that they were pantyhose and put them on my head because sometimes I do silly things like that for my students and it was very offensive and I apologize and I will never let it happen again. The next teacher threatens to write everyone up in class because the class clowns kept lying to him. It's not a usual thing to see, but it worked, didn't it? So what do you, again, again. I gave it to him. No, are you, what level of lying do you not believe? You lie all the time, you did not give it to him. He had to walk around the room looking for it. Yes or no, is that what happened? Did you give it to him? Or did he have to walk all the way around the room, pick it up off your table and sit down? Yes or no? Which one happened? What I said or what you said? So you lie. Go outside. Go go outside. No, take your iPad with you. You're going to have to do the assignment on your own. So, who gave you the iPad? All right. You know what? I'm going to write everybody up. No, it was either Christian or George. Well, everyone's going to get written up in this whole class. Since we can't, we play games like this, and we can't remember who did what. <clears throat> why are we doing this stuff? Why? Brandon why is it okay? What's so funny? Why can't you pay attention to what's going on here? Go out there and join him. It's so funny. I no, I'm not kidding. Christian, did you know whose iPad it was? No, sir. No. So what are you supposed to do when you have an iPad that you don't know whose it is? Turn it in. Give it to me and I might tell you to go to the office. Why didn't you do that? Because you thought it'd be fun to do your own thing, right? Good job. Way to go. Run you up, too. This has to stop. All right. Now today, you are writing three paragraphs. Teacher Karen tries to intimidate her student by staring at her. But it doesn't work, so she just stands there in silence like a creepy person. Thanks for these. Oh my god. I'm sorry that I was helping my friend with her work. That's a mess in that stair, mess. I was trying to go to her. Bruh. I can tell you're trying to intimidate me, but I don't quite care. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I was trying to help my friend. Are you going to tell us to be awesome? Dang. Oh, Miss Morgan, you gonna let it go? <laughs> what? Oh. If you're going to say something to me, I'd rather you say it now than keep staring at me. Ooh. I can tell you're going to oh my god.